welcome, welcome everyone. Um, I'm just. That was weird. Um, if you're, uh, how should I say, into flight simulation but kind of overwhelmed by it at the same time, then um, I created a program to help the newbie uh, get into flight simulation, but also to help the um, the veteran sort of stay interested in it, I guess. And it's called the Virtual Pilot Life Program, or the Virtual Pilot's Life Program, sorry. Um, today is a bit of a special day for uh, this flight. Well, today is test day. Um, the Virtual Pilot Life Program, um, it consists of ground school, flight school, and career mode. And once you finish ground school, um, you're, you'll be able to start flight school. It comes out this September, flight school does. September, October. I think you can register in September, but then it officially launches and is accessible in October. Um, and it's a series of uh, licenses that you can achieve for your flight simulation. It doesn't matter what flight simulator you run, as long as it does have commercial aircraft in that sim, then you'll be able to utilize the virtual pilot life program inside the sim um, and it basically helps you um, get the knowledge that you need in order to fly these aircraft and a variety of them and have fun along the way uh, getting achievements along the way such as um, you know hey I've just passed my um, private pilot license or whatever um, and, and to be honest I have um, the other day, if you've been watching, I achieved my private pilot's uh, license. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy for that. And then it's the instrument, and this one is the multi-engine cargo. So what do we do to have to satisfy the multi-engine cargo? Um, I'm about to take my multi-engine cargo license for my virtual, pilot light, uh, virtual pilot's life uh, program that I created. And in order to satisfy that, there's a few things we have to do. Um, we're given four airports, and this is the base. This is the main hub, okay? So where we are right now, we are in Laos, okay? Which is not too far away from Vietnam. And this particular airport, its code is VLLB, Victor Lima Lima Bravo. And this is the main hub. And these aircraft hangars here, is where our cargo is going to get loaded from onto our plane. We've just been given the fuel, okay? Um, and in order to satisfy the license, there's a few things we have to do, okay? As I said, there's four airports, this being one of them. So I, f I suppose actually technically there's five. So this is one. Then you've got um, VLSK, VLXK, and VLLN. And then you have to return to this one. So yeah, that's four. Uh, then you have to return to this airport. Um, and basically, we have to drop cargo off along the way. So I've loaded 6,000 pounds of cargo onto uh, this, this plane. And I have to deliver it to the various airports. And the cargo consists of 500 chickens, three sacks of flour, three sacks of rice, 10 small crates, 33 medium crates, and 20 large crates. Now, all of these items have been itemized in terms of their weight, and there's three pallets loaded onto this uh, plane, and each uh, pallet is 2,000 pounds in weight. Um, my, uh, the company that I'm running this for has given me 7,000 pounds of fuel for the day, so that is it. Once that dries out, that's it. We, unfortunately, we can't refuel. Now, in order to satisfy the license, the cargo must be delivered to the three airports I mentioned, VLSK, VLXK, and VLLN, each getting a pallet each, right? And you can, like, this can be done in any order. Um, each, each airport destination or airfield, whatever it is, uh, gets a pallet, 2,000 pounds, boom, boom, boom. Um, each, each, each airport gets 2,000 pounds, right? And each airport will also give me some cargo to put on my plane. So I've got to manage the weight of the cargo and I've got to make sure that that plane can take off in the air. As well as that, I've got to manage the uh, fuel load. We're only given 7,000 pounds of fuel. 
for the day, for the entire day. Now this whole thing is probably going to take about 8 hours to complete. In fact, that's the total time I'm allowed to do this. Uh, deliver to these three airports and get back to this base within 8 hours, I get my license, okay? And I've got to deliver all this cargo, I've got to maintain my fuel, which means I've kind of got to regulate um, how I do this, in which airport will I go to first. Now there's only two refueling airports available. When you go to take this license, you can choose any twin or four uh, propeller driven uh, aircraft uh, that you wish. So like I could choose this one, you know, um, I've chosen this one because um, I quite like it, it's easy to fly. It's got four engines, so that's I, I can really maintain that. Um, but you can choose any twin or four uh, propeller-driven aircraft you like, as long as um, it can take the weight of 6,000 pounds and take the weight of the fuel. Now, at the end of the day, if it can't take 7,000 pounds in one go, that's fine. You fill up what you need, but then there is another refueling airport. Anyway, all this is explained in the... Um, virtual pilot's life program when we do it so right uh, everything is timed as well so I've got my phone here and I've got to time myself so um, I mean the weather to be honest by the way is absolutely pants in Laos at the moment and we are on real world weather so I don't expect to actually do this in one go I think I might need a beer to calm down with Right, headphones on. So I've got my checklists. I've got to deliver the cargo, let's hop into the plane. I've got to deliver the cargo in the time allowed and get back to this airport within eight hours. I'm gonna be given cargo at each destination that I fly to and I've got to get rid of cargo. So I've got to kind of, you know, manage all this. Now this is FSX that we're doing this in. So there's no way I don't think I'm going to be able to do an eight hour flight in one go. I have a feeling it's going to crash. So every time I land, I'll pause the time. I'll reload the sim and, and continue where we left off in terms of fuel and weight. There's a video that explains what Virtual Pilot's Life program is. It's not an installed app at all. Um, right. So pre-start parking brakes have been set, that's set, uh, flight director on, standby, um, fuel quantity, let's check our fuel, um, whatever, All right, trim is set, flaps is set, flight controls is free and clear, yep, Let's go for it. Here we go. Oh God, I didn't set the time, did I? Bollocks. Got to do this properly. Start the time. Okay, let's get in the air. Wait. Smooth. Right, wheels up. Right, heading autopilot on. Altitude, I don't know. Vertical speed. Altitude hold. Flaps up. Right. Okay, we're going to make our turn to uh, whatever it is. Bring up our GPS. that up here. Woo! Sweet. We're 
We've got full power on this sucker? Yeah. What are these? Pull these to the top. Give me some more power! Right about, um, well, we're gonna fly out a bit first. Man, we're descending right into the fog here. Look at this. Dudes. Right, here we go. We're coming in. Oh, it's raining as well. Right, we should have the runway pretty much on track here. Don't want to stall it. I see the runway. We're coming in. Another degree of flaps. Too high. Here we go. We're coming in, guys. this puppy. Can't fail this on my first attempt. Right, here we go. I need to know the uh, the level that we were flying. This was, they were a bit high. Right, here we go. We're coming in. Give us more flaps. Down, down! What the hell? Here we go. Floating it. Whoa! Right. Full reverse brakes. Give me full reverse. We did it. Right, so we kill we kill the uh, the time. We get them back onto the runway, and as if we're about to head off, um, and we have to do a sort of shutdown. There we go. Parking brake set. And kill the engines. Right, there we go. There we go. Uh, six, four, three, eight. That done. The payload. We haven't got anybody else there. Oh, sugar. And I am one nine six. Okay, and our payload is five thousand five hundred. So. Uh, what was that? Um, two five five zero. Two five five zero. Five two. Right, we are ready for takeoff. So V one is at seventy five knots. Pitch is at eighty. Um, retract landing gear. Put the flaps. Flaps to fifteen degrees. Set flaps to 25. Is that what it's set at now? Right, okay. Fair enough. 
Right, we are ready to take this bad boy to the air. Let's start the clock. Here we go. Rock and roll! Oh, it has centered us on the run line. There we go. Right. Positive right up. Landing gear up. Flaps up to 15. Flight director on. Altitude and we are heading up nice. Let's turn to our heading now. Oh, it's changed. Whatever. That's a bit annoying. Nice. Look at that. Gorgeous. Um, flaps 15 degrees, trim, maintain 500. Oh, our, we haven't put our speed. What, were you, what was our speed? Sorry. Put that at 120. Uh, ugh, let's get up off out of this seat. Let's go check out the cargo. Oh, there it is. There's the cargo we're shipping. Let's go check it out. So this is the cargo we're hauling today. Um, I don't know what's in these boxes, but I think it's something to do with... Uh, yeah. We've already made one drop of the uh, cargo here. So, we've got another drop to go. As you can see, it's not configured for passengers. We're just hauling cargo. But, I'll tell you what I want to do. I gotta look out the window. Sit down in this seat here. All in uh, who knows what. I mean, we could be running guns. It's Laos. Do you know what I mean? This is like Air America. So who knows what we could be uh, hauling here? Stand up. Check out over here. Very nice. Don't tell me the runway still is that same direction. Oh my gosh, is it? I think it is. The runway, all the runways are the same. That's weird. Right. Take it down to f five, five.
So we are going to go out a little bit. There's the runway. We are kind of running parallel, yeah. So we are going to go out beyond that river. Let's um, as soon as we pass the river, which we are going now, we will do an about turn. So we should be going at 140 now. And set the first stage of flaps when we do our turn. I reckon we can do our turn now. Ah, oh, no, we're way too, no, 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 we're way too, oh, bollocks, we're way too, okay, quick, right, get back, we're way too high, let's get this down, 3,500, set for, oh, gosh, we are, oh, no way, right, um, Autopilot off, coming in for landing. I've got the plane. You know what, we're gonna have to do another turn here.
Way too high. Way too high. I mean, this is a slam dunk, this is. Boom, I say it at I, I we you know what I have a feeling we've forgotten something on that one. Right, so to the end of the runway, although to be honest we can probably just go this way. Now on this airport we have the option, I believe, of refueling if we want to. But obviously we can't because we only have the seven thousand pounds of fuel allowed. So So, hit the parking brake, condition levers, turn the engine off. And there we go, stop the clock. One hour and 34 minutes is what we got. We are in VLSK. They give us two thousand pounds, so we need to unload two thousand, which we do, we will do, and then we need to load back up two thousand. So we still got fifty-five hundred. What's my landing rate? Three three nine. Oh yeah, baby. That's how you do that. Hey. Okay. Here we go. Take off. Half throttle. Everything seems to be good. And let's go. Full throttle. Take it off. Running gear up. Set to fifteen degrees. And we'll wait till we're established.
There it is. There's the runway. Right there. That's our runway. Why are we diving down? Right, so we're going to do a turn now. Let me just mark our runway. Our runway is... I reckon that. So we are going to do a quick turn. Then and we're going to take it down to sixty five and six thousand feet and drop the speed down to one hundred and twenty. too high. Autopilot off, landing lights on, we're going in. Dropping the gear. Flaps. Do you know what, we're, we're way too high so in fact what we're gonna do, uh, re-engage the autopilot We're going to fly over and turn around. Stage of flaps. Oh, mate, we're coming at it from the wrong angle here. There's a massive hill there. <laughs> mate. We can't land like that. We have to go and do another turnaround because there's a massive hill there. Look at that. Who put that hill there? Look at that. We can't land on that bit of runway. My god. miles away. There it is. Right. Gear down. We're going to 120. Flaps. Autopilot off. I have the plane. Gear down. Well, we need landing lights on. Which are they? Landing lights are on. A bit high.
GPS off, that's no good to us now. Right, here we go, mate. This landing has to go well, because uh, the runway is short. These people need the chickens to be delivered. Right. Here we go. There's a tree at the end of that runway. Who put that tree there? Mate, I'm like ready to stall. I think I'm too high. Right, gear down, that's it. Here we go. Oh, this is, we're gonna run off. We are gonna run off the end. Alright, we need to get down. It's not a taxiway, it's a runway, love. Land it! Whoa! Right. Reverse thrust. Retard them engines quick. We need to stop. I don't think you get reverse thrust in, in uh, thingies, but... Mate, I think that's it! Touchdown! Crowd goes wild! Well, you do get reverse thrust in the propellers, but... And then all we have to do is turn this sucker around. And we have done it. Hey, that's how you do that. Hey. That's it. Brakes. Kill the engines. Power them down. Woo! Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Two hours and 17 minutes, mate. Two hours and 17 minutes. Right? Which makes our total so far up to five... 19 right but we've got to unload 2,000 pounds of cargo first which is going to bring our time up to uh, 13 minutes and they're going to give us a thousand pounds of cargo which uh, means 10 minutes of time which brings our new total up to 30, 42, 5 hours and 42 minutes. Alright, and then all we've got to do is get back to the base after we dump our cargo here. Um, complete flight. What's our landing rating? 389. That's just within what's allowed. Love it. Love it, mate. Right, that's our next one. We're going to dispatch this flight and get this in before I forget. Which is back to base. There we go. Exit out of that to restart. Load up the flight plan for the weather. It's a short trip. Mate, we're gonna well do this within the eight hours. I might right, let's make sure our parking brake is on, yeah. Right, so let's sort out the fuel. Oh, it's already there. Oh cool. Right, well we'll just leave it then. Oh actually no, I will uh, I will swap that out between the three tanks. Uh, four tanks. So nine two one divided by four. Route 230 in each tank. Ah! Shall we 
go. 921. That's fine. Right, so we need to change the payload. Because we are on the runway. Oh, hang on. I've miscalculated here. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Right. So that was three out. So we are at five, four, two now. Start the clock. Get in the aircraft. Let's turn this puppy up. Get these engines going. Engine one, start. Engine one start. Is there a reason why it's not starting? It's not the same. Engine one. Oh, the pump. Ignition switch, isn't it? Trigger, that's why. There we go. Ignite two. Flaps is up. No, it's not. Engine three. Start. Right. Engine start checklist before checklist start throttle set. Let's get our uh, GPS up. Five zero. Oh, we're going to say one two zero. Um, flight director on. Altitude set to ten thousand. And vertical speed set to fifteen hundred. We've got a short runway, so we're going to set flaps. And bet trim up. We're on a very short runway. <laughs> um, right, uh, aerial, everything's ready, everything's done. Landing lights on. Flaps is set, trim is set, let's go. Yeah, short runway, you're right. Positive rate at 85, which we've already achieved. Positive rate, climbing. Positive rate, gear up. Flaps to 15. Activate the altitude. Speed, uh, 150. And I think we can activate our heading now as well. We 
Beach with Teresa. Oh, look at the trees, mate. Look at the trees. Bloody gorgeous. This is much better than Orbex. Look at that. Gorgeous. This is Vietnam. This is like... We're in Laos, sorry. Not Vietnam, but we're in Laos. Right. Let's get back on. We're pitched up at 1500. That's fine. I'm going to do another turn now to 150. 140. Um... Landing lights off, taxi lights off, autopilot set, airspeed 150. It's not yet, but it's getting there. Is it? Yeah. Full, uh, they should be up. I don't know why they fell back down. Full power on them. That's going to start climbing. Um. Flaps up. There we go. Start the climb. We are approximately 100 miles away from our destination, so hopefully we should have enough fuel. Hopefully. Right, going to turn to one... Uh, yeah, 150. Trim, what's the trim set to? trim set to. Whoa! Yes I do. Shit. Right, going down to 4,000 now. And we're making our turn to the runway. One twenty speed. We've done flaps. Well, we can put that down to three thousand now. We should have the runway in sight. Mate, we're flying on right on top of it. There's no way we're landing on that right now. Bloody hell. Right, uh, 3,500. We're going to have to fly around and come back. Let's uh, head. Let's head east. <laughs> Is everybody ready for this, mate? This is honestly the first time I've landed uh, at this airport with this plane. And this is my test. This is my, uh, for the, my license, so. I haven't practiced this before. Right, we are at the 10 mile marker, so we are gonna come around now. Turn our first course heading.
and we might as well just turn directly in for our full. 2 4 0. Right. Down to uh, 4,000. Down to 3,500. We need to drop faster than that. Wheels down, flaps. I have the aircraft. Aircraft so the GPS is no good now. Airport runway in sight. We need to get this sucker down. Landing uh, lights on. That's off. I don't know why they were already on. Oops. Here we go. We're a bit high. We can uh, easily fix that. Doing a slam dunk approach. Right, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep it steady. Right, flaps down. Uh oh. Maybe a bit too soon on the old flaps front. The wind. I feel like I'm too high again. all my rudder to keep this set center. Alright, here we go. Coming in. Give me a couple of stakes. Oh man, we've lost a lot of rudder. Good thing there's nobody on board. Brakes, full reverse. Reverse on the old. Uh... That's it. That's how we do it. Booyaka! Oh, shit. Off runway. Boom! Line lights off. This is where it all started, guys. 8 o'clock this morning. About 7 hours ago. We, uh, we took off. From this airport. With 6,000 pounds of cargo. We delivered... Three, we delivered all six thousand pounds, and they gave us some as well. Now we just got to stop on the runway at the end, and that's it, mate. What's our fuel? Look at that! Boom! I think we lost an engine. No, they're still going strong. Twenty miles an hour. 
We're going to stop in this yellow box at the end of the runway. In order to deliver the cargo. And there we go. That's how you do it. Parking brake on. Kill the engines. Oh, you know what? I can leave all that run. Right, stop the... Uh, stop the clock. Did we pass? Right, we did 39 minutes and uh, 56. I'm just going to round that up to 40 minutes because uh, it's a lot easier. So, uh, 1 hour and 22. 6.22 so far. We need to unload of cargo on board that we need to unload. Add 13 minutes. So, that's 26 plus um oh, that's a headache 26 plus 6 26 plus 6 is 32 32 minutes added on is 54 6 hours and 54 minutes guys we did it Complete flight. Right. That was it, dudes. That's why we did it. What's with my landing rating? 225! Woo! We did it! Right? You gotta get a landing rating of less than, like, five or six hundred or whatever it was. And that's it. Two minus 225. Guys, that's it. We passed the test, man. Look at that. We've unlocked the greaser achievement. Mate, we we uh we've done it. That's it. I got my uh, multi-engine cargo rating from uh, Virtual Pilot Life. Thank you very much. You know what this means? I am certified in virtual simulation to fly a propeller-driven aircraft, but it can't have passengers on. Anywhere in the world. Up to four engines. Yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? I achieved I achieved my solo flight. The day before um, or like two weeks ago. Um, I also got my private pilot. So yeah. I'm well chuffed. I'm well chuffed about that. Right, TTFN, and uh, we'll speak another day, mate. We'll do another flight another day. Take care. Bye.